<laughs> hey lovelies, I am coming to you from Jacksonville, Florida, from my very special hotel room. <laughs> if you're not familiar with me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder and coach for A Piece of Positivity Studios. And what I do is I help people who are feeling stuck in their career, in life, really, you know, find the joy again. Um, so I wanted to go live today just to talk to you about a little bit of inspiration that came from spending the last few days with my mentor um, and really just the wisdom that came along with that. Hey, Cody. Hey, Anthony. Um, so eight things that I know for sure. And I, this is an exercise that we did. Hey, Laura. Um, we, I did with my mentor today and I did it with a bunch of really amazing, inspiring women. Um, eight things that we all know for sure. And Hey, Holly. Um, and so this list for everyone is different. So I would really challenge you to come up with a list of, you know, five, 10 things that you know for sure and use that kind of as your guiding post for your life. So I just wanted to, I have it in pink Sharpie to, um, you know, share with you guys things that for me, I know for sure. So eight things I know for sure. I might read this to you. I might just read it to you. So I apologize. So the first thing that I know for sure is that the universe has my back, you know, but you have to show up in your business, in your relationships, and especially with yourself. Um, so this is really like, you know, this is like going along with the idea that, you know, you can, you can try manifesting all you want, but if you don't take action, the universe isn't going to, is, is, there's only so much that the universe can do. You need to meet that, you know, the universe, God, whatever, halfway. Um, so that's one thing I know for sure. The second thing that I know for sure is that you need support, that everyone needs support in their journey, whether it's the support of friends, the family, a coach, um, a therapist, you know, whatever it is, every, every single person on planet earth, you know, every single soul just need, it, it needs support. You need support. Um, the third thing that I know for sure is that art is a freaking lifesaver. I feel like art gets this kind of bad reputation. It's, you know, associated with, you know, people who are lazy or, you know, art is some sort of like mystical gift that only a few people have. Um, you know, art is a lifesaver. Creativity is a lifesaver. Um, it helps us get in touch with our soul. It helps us get in touch with the creator. It helps us get in touch with really like the, the fundamentals of life. So that's the third thing that I know for sure. The fourth thing, and I'm going to read this one because I, I'm enjoying my poeticness on this one. The fourth thing that I know for sure is flow. When you find flow, you are discovering the truest version of yourself, the version, you, the version you've since buried long ago. Life is quicksand for flow. If you don't allow yourself to use it, to get it, but to get to it, you will have to uncover it over and over again. So I like to think of flow as like, oh my gosh, it's like God, it's God's, the creator's life's just like truest gift to each and every one of us. It's, it's like the equivalent of getting in the zone, like maybe when you're playing sports or when you're reading or, you know, when you're dancing and you're just enjoying the moment. Flow, I think, is life's greatest gift. And if we don't use it, it's the first thing to, to sink to the bottom, to sink in the quicksand. And it's the first thing that we forget. We, it's the first thing that we, we don't allow ourselves to even access anymore. There's the one thing that is in alignment with the truest version of yourself. Um, so that is, you know, the number four is like the, the number four thing that I know for sure. Um, number five, I'm definitely editing myself. You can see like I'm cursing up a storm on here if you pause it and, and want to see. But um, in, the, in, my, in my writing, your body is a beautiful, perfect, fu and functionally amazing thing. Your body is the rare, handmade, glowing vessel for your soul. That is the number five thing that I know for sure. Your body is literally a container for your soul, a container for your consciousness. Um, and we should be treating our bodies as such. This is a reminder for me, just as it might be a reminder for you. Um, are we going to pour grease in our bodies? Are we going to, you know, let our you know, skin be dried out by the sun? You're like, what, what, what are we doing to take care of our bodies? And that could be like stress hormones, you know, chemicals, stuff like that too. Are we taking care of our vessel? Number six thing that I know for sure is that anger is a roadmap. 
You guys have probably heard me say this a million and one times, that anger towards other people, towards things, you know, it is literally a roadmap to show you where you need to go or where your boundaries are. That is, you know, anything that in your life that really, sh that you are angry about, if you examine that, it will definitely give you some information. So that's number six on what I know for sure. Number seven, the number seven thing that I know for sure is that you have to take care of yourself. So I'm going to read this again. You have to take care of yourself. You'll need the strength to, con to conquer the world, to really make a difference in your own life. Changing your own life is the most important thing. And once you create change in your life, maybe, just maybe, you will create a domino effect in the lives of others. So taking care of yourself, I, I use the funnel analogy constantly. You know, it's not about filling your cup, right? It's about filling a funnel. The cup implies that we only have to fill it every once in a while. The funnel is saying, take care of yourself regularly so that the breakdown doesn't happen, so that you don't snap at your family, so that you don't get sick, so that et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? All of these symptoms don't come up. So number seven thing that I know for sure is that you just have to take care of yourself. Um, and lastly, the eighth thing, this is something I stole from a friend, and I hope she's, she's going to end up watching this. Um, the eighth thing that I know for sure is that we could all use a little therapy, especially the therapist. So if any of you guys are the, you know, the service providers, the nurse, the doctor, the therapist, you know, whatever, the, the person that's giving your gifts to the world on a regular basis and really allowing and holding space for others, you know, this is a call for you to say, like, where are you going for that emotional, psychological support? Because I believe the eighth thing that I know for sure is that we could all use a little therapy, especially the therapist. So this is just an exercise. Those are my eight things. Um, I would encourage you guys to just go through this exercise for yourself, you know, five to 10 things that you know for sure um, to give yourself a, not even a rule bit, a rule book, but, you know, just a guideline, um, a where you stand on your morals, on your values, what's most important to you. Um, Try this as an exercise just to get in alignment with your most authentic self, to get back into the present moment, to make sure that you're focusing on what matters most to you in life. This is a really, really great exercise. I'm really grateful for my mentor for bringing this up, to have us all do it. Um, there's a group of us here in Jacksonville. I'm actually in a hotel right now for those of you who are just coming in or coming on. Um, it's a really, really good exercise for clarity, for values, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you and I would love for you if you have any things that you know for sure to comment them to share them to let me know what you know for sure because I think we've got a collective wisdom that we can bring together and um, not only make a change in our own lives but perhaps even a change in the world so um, anyway wanted to share that I hope that you guys um, are doing well that you're if you're in Philly or New York on the east you know north northern east coast that you're surviving the snow and the slush and the grossness or you're prepared for it. Um, and if, as always, if you're looking for support, if you need, if you, if any of these things resonate with you, you know, you feel like you need to be taking care of yourself, that you need support, that creativity could save you, that you haven't been in flow in years, right? I really encourage you to, you know, shoot me a DM, go to apopstudios.com, grab a free complimentary conversation with me so we can figure out where you're at, where you're going and what's getting in the way of you living, you know, a driven, fulfilling, purposeful life. I love you guys. I will catch you on the flip side. And um, for those of you with the weather, good luck. I wish you the best of luck. Stay warm.